Okay, so now we put the seal on the vacuum pump. There's uh, notches on the uh, seal, square notches that matches the. Uh, if you look from the front end, there's uh, just one way to put that. So we're setting up that thing. Okay, so now we're gonna insert it in its hole. And the bolts are from that side. We need to put the three bolts. We're gonna have to uh, maybe turn sli uh, slightly the uh, sprocket to make sure it lines up. Hold on. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, so we're torquing these bolts at uh, uh, at uh, 97 pound inch, 97 pound inch. This is the torque I found for those. Again, check your own torque. Don't rely on me for that. But uh, Make sure you got your pins here. You got one pin here and one pin here, locating pin for the uh, oil pump. If you don't have it there, you just remove it somewhere and just be sure to put it back on. So the middle bolt that holds the sprocket on the vacuum pump, the thread's got to be oiled. So we're going to put a bit of oil on it. We're just going to put it uh, for now in place. It's not going to be torque because it's going to be hard to, uh, to torque it. Uh, without holding anything so we're gonna have like you have the chain holding the three components together so this way we're gonna be able to torque and the whole thing is gonna hold in place so now the chain uh, fell off the uh, tab there so we just have to put it back on the tab the chain for the oil pump vacuum pump and the uh, uh, crankshaft this bracket is uh, so we're gonna we're gonna have to insert this bracket Okay, so we're picking up the slack and we're going to install the sprocket on the high above.
that's it. So the idea was to try to slide it here and then you kind of need to pull the sprocket in the chain. It's a very tight uh, setup to fit it there. So now we're going to install the oil pump and line up the sprocket in, on the oil pump shaft and then we're going to be able to torque both of those uh, sprockets on their device. So setting up the oil pump, so this is the way it goes. The long, it's not a shaft, but this long thing there goes that way. So this this part and this part line up with the pins. This is a, a hole that got a line up. There's a hole here on the cylinder block. I would think honestly this is where the oil gets out. Not a hundred percent sure, but looks looks like it. So now the pump is properly seated. I'm just going to put the bolts on. They're very long bolt. Goes up front here. Yep, looks like it. The third one is on that side here. Goes right here. We're gonna torque this flat and then we're going to uh, put the uh, sprocket on the shaft. So I'm gonna look for the torque, I'll get back to you what I found. But again, look on your end. We gotta set it up to 88 pound inch, 88 pound inch for the first level of torque for the three bolts. I'll start always by torquing the two smaller one, shorter in length. And then the third one. Okay. So the two short bolts, this one and this one, we had to add 90 degree to, to the torque. done. Now let's do this one. Okay, go for it.
Nice and eight degree. This one is a uh, half a turn, hundred and eighty degree. So that's a bit more of a challenge. So we we'll have to make sure it's not gonna interfere with anything on its way. Let's see, I line it up here. See, not good. far so good okay let's hope for the best that's it so this is done so now we're gonna look for uh, tightening, uh, putting the uh, bolt in the middle of the sprocket on. Okay, so this is, uh, we put a quarter inch drill bit in the hole. This is locking the sprocket with the back plate of the, uh, all this uh, chain unit. So now uh, we're going to torque this one 177 uh, pound inch and then we have to add 45 degree to it. So we're going for the 177 pound inch. Okay. So we're adding the 45 degree. That's it. This is done. Now we remove the drill bit. 48 foot pound for the sprocket on the uh, vacuum pump. Okay, this is good. So we're going to remove that one. So now it's held in place. We're going to go with the ratchet. Now that it's uh, loose, I can insert this bolt here. So it's going to line up with the hole. So that's, that's not the new one, that's the old bolt. So, yeah. That's a brand new bolt. Okay, and then I need to remove the old one. It is right there. I need to have a special tool to do so, which is an alive uh, kind of uh, grabbing tool. So when you push it extends like that, that's going to make our life easier to remove it.
the socket first. And then we can remove the boot. So to insert the new bolt, I'm just gonna put it right away on top of this thing. Okay, then I'm gonna be able to insert it through the hole. Oh, not quite that easy. No, it's not working like that. I have to do it like that. Now that it's set on the top of it, I'm going to be able to start it in the hole. Then we're going to go putting the socket back on it. Ratchet extension, then we can set it where it's supposed to sit. Then we gotta do the same with the two others on top here, and then we'll be, we'll be able to torque these three bolts to their specific torch. to do now we're gonna turn the crankshaft in order to get piston number one to the top dead center then we're gonna make a mark with a marker on the block and on the uh, pulley here so we're gonna know where is top dead center one cylinder one this is gonna get us away from all that bug and crap about the plastic plug and I have to put the flywheel on and everything we have the piston in the side, so it's the best timing to do something like that. So we're looking at piston number one. We'll try to, okay, we'll do the other way around. We can turn the reverse way a bit, because the, uh, the chain, uh, the binder is not uh, working on the cams. Okay, done. So we clean the surface here with brake cleaner all around, this also all around. Now the cylinder one is at top dead center. We make a mark here. If you can see here. Ah, that's Make a mark here, and another one here. Now we want to put the head gasket on it. Now it just drop on the ground. up your pins that is lining up your uh, head gasket so now we're gonna come with the cylinder head So we clean the uh, surface where the uh, it's gonna sit on the head gasket we clean it with the brake cleaner as well. Make sure it's going to be dry. Okay. Okay. 
no? That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay, so now we're putting all the washer uh, back in the cylinder head in order to put the uh, you got to make sure which side you put them it's easy just look where the head was there was a it leaves like a round uh, surface you put it back in so they're all back in the uh, holes as you can see on both sides and take an exhaust so now we're gonna put the bolts in getting ready to torque that thing so we're going for a first round of, of torque at 22 uh, pound foot we're starting at the middle we put the 10 uh, big bolts like that in the middle so the corners are free no bolt yet because they're a smaller boat if you look at the four corners where we had the helicoid thing so we're starting with the big ones and we're going for a uh, 22 foot pound pound foot So then we move one side, we do the two, then we move the other side, we do the two and further out, further out, each side, this is the sequence. So we're now doing the four bolts on the corner, they're a bit smaller, they still have a four, first level of torque at the 22 pound feet. So we're going for 90 degree. Every single boat is going 90 degree. We start with the big ones, middle, going towards the outside. And then it's, uh, we finish by the four smaller boats, 90 degree each. So that's the task at end for now. Okay, so now we're gonna do the four bolts on the corner with 90 degree as well that would be the second level uh, of torque for all the boats
so now we're going for another 90 degree which is the third round this is for the big boats only the big 10 of the middle we don't do the one on the corners again we respect the same uh, sequence of torquing middle and then going outward so another 90 degree And we keep going for the remaining nine boats. Okay, so now we're going for the final round of all these uh, boats. We're doing the same sequence, 45 degrees more. We're going to do the first 10 boats, same thing, middle, then going outside, outside. And we're going to finish, and we're going to add on this round, we're going to add the 45 degree on the small boats on the four corners. And we keep going as a uh, same thing. So now we're setting up for uh, fixing these boats. So we got one here, one here, one is under the uh, chain, guide, chain guide here. You can tell it's uh, right here. And the other one is outside here. So these four boats are 195 pound inch. So we're going to do the four of those. So all the, tor the bolts are torqued for the uh, cylinder head to the uh, cylinder engine block. 